What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another high level gameplay. In this gameplay, we are going to be playing Luke Mid, aka Strap God. So if I say Strap God, you know, his new alias is Luke Mid. But you know, if I say Strap God, it's because that's what I know him by. He's a Carolina club. Carolina Panthers club runner up of last year. He was a guy rocking the U trips. And he's gonna be rocking new trips in this gameplay as well we matched up in friday night football if you don't know what that is guys it's a uh weekly or you know every other week tournament held by mutthead mutthead is obviously the greatest you know one of the best websites for mutt um info content all that stuff they've been around for so long if you don't know what mudhead is you know you're living under a rock but they host these tournaments uh for one thousand dollars almost every friday or you know every other friday and you know we were in it this week we, we actually made a really good run. Stay tuned for the next gameplays on this tournament. And, you know, we just matched up with Luke Mid, aka Strap God. It was a really good game. High scoring battle. And I'm going to break it down real quick for you guys. If you do enjoy this video, please leave a like. And I'll see you guys at the end. So you see right here, guys, he is in the U trips and he's going deep first play. And, um, you know, I don't know what's been going on as of late. So, you know, the way I've been playing defense, it's been really good. But, you know, as of late, I've been getting burnt on streaks on deep fades on deep posts all that type of stuff i see right here he's already going to score a fast seven you know within 30 seconds and you know two play 75 yard drive is pretty discouraging for your first um you know drive of defense but it is what it is he is going to be in dollar and right here i almost throw a book on the first play just not how you want to start off the game um i have my reasoning for you know why that was such you know not the greatest read i should say um, it was because uh, the middle of the field. So like I said so many times, um, you know, whether it be on stream, whether it be on video, whether it be my ebooks, you always want to get to a hash before you play your offense. So something I got to do better, be better at is running the ball um, when I get the ball on in the middle of the field so I could get to a hash. But, um, you know, what I was saying before is the streaks, they've been insane. If you see a lot of streaks and deep bombs in this gameplay, don't be surprised. I feel like, uh, you know, there's some defense there for a second, then escape artist drop, then they took away our strategy item. Um, now we're having 98 speed Marlon Humphrey and Simmons. It's just like kind of tough to play deep defense um, with those, you know, 99 speed receivers everywhere on the field. You see right here, we're having a kind of struggle drive. Like, you know, I've been on a couple third downs. I've been sacked a couple times, but you know, it is what it is. We are, you know, trying to end up score seven right here. See right here, we are going to run bench pivot. And I low-key wanted to throw Cam Chancellor, but it's just not worth it, man. Third down and 10 here. We roll out. We run PA boot over. We throw a Megalodot to Calvin Johnson. Um, I am this Raiders. I'm in this Raiders playbook, if you didn't know by now. I've been rocking it for a couple weeks now, and I'm liking it, man. I'm liking it a lot. There's so many things you could do. The audible round is really good. And it just really attacks all defenses, you know. Their bunch isn't the greatest. I know that by now, guys. Trust me. But the thing is... You know, the way I play, I like to rock a lot of, you know, different forms. So you see right here, somehow, some way, Adrian Peterson burnt DK Metcalf. Um, and, you know, when I seen that, I'm like, all right, you know, DK Metcalf ha might have to get the boot. Um, as you see right here, like I was saying, another streak. That's a 98 speed receiver matched up and pressed on a 99 speed. I can't get too mad. Um, it, it, it's going to take a minute, man, to get used to not having my 99 speed goons anymore. Uh, obviously the deep free strategy item being gone hurts us in a lot of ways um, especially if you're one of those guys like me who rocks marlon humphrey or isaiah simmons at corner um you know i'm gonna miss having even cordero patterson he's not 99 speed anymore i'm gonna miss having my 99 speed corners it was very very easy to run defense with those guys easy to run man coverage with them um not saying you can do it anymore but you know i might have to switch my theme teammates right here that's why i love ha having calvin in the slot when I throw any type of corner route versus a, uh, you know, third like that, I could just click on and undercut it. And speaking on of clicking on and undercutting, Taylor Mays in a curl flat just baited my life away. That was a new play setup I wanted to try. And honestly, guys, you can rewind that if you want. That was just insane. I see right here another deep bomb, and that's Jack Tatum getting burnt. I ended up clipping it because I just, I, I didn't know how that happened. But in re, uh, what ended up happening, guys, is my linebacker, ran into one of my defenders and boom that just it just ends up causing a lot of disruption see right here we are gonna just throw a nice little out route to roger craig on the left side here running the ball once more after running it um on second down we are gonna go back into the bunch tight end throw this dot it was a kind of a tough read but calvin johnson just boxes him out every single time 
right here running the ball and you know why we are running the ball is to make this um either last drive or as close to his last drive as i can make it in the half we do get ball at half and you know it's just very tough to come back in a scenario like this great you know great play by me but he ends up having mid zone ko and that's a gr really good ability to have. You see right here, we throw a beam to save the game. Um, I honestly believe if we don't get that right there, the game is cooked. But, you know, we have double me. He played great defense. And, you know, I ended up t having to take off. His user was there, and we ended up making a nice read on the run. But, you know, it's still not over with. It's fourth down and goal right here. We have to score. Big scenario, and we get in with Jalen Hurts. I know that one's going to hurt. But that, that was just a huge bounce back drive um, being down, you know, 14 points. Uh, it's just it's just tough right here. Hopefully we could just go into half without any points being allowed. We're in a scenario to end up, you know, tying the game out of half. You see right here, he's just going to run the ball. And I decided to call a timeout because, you know, I'm thinking maybe I could get the ball back. Maybe I could cause a sack or a turnover. And in reality, it, it's just not the it's just not the move, man. When there's under like 20, 10 seconds left, you just want to go into half um you know just to preserve time and keep the momentum rocking i did try to call a timeout to get lucky on this punt return but in reality i probably should just let that go into half you never know what might happen you know fumble on the punt return this that and a third this is madden 22 anything could happen see right here we are in trips this play R run a nice little combo of a tight end post a slant route and a flat uh, that's that trips tight end combo that's so popular guys i know you guys know what i'm talking about right here verticals with a post route in route from the running back and we're dialing it up man we're looking good right now i have a dot to vernon davis we pass lead outside bullet pass and cam chancer who has not got an upgrade yet guys he definitely needs an upgrade ends up getting torched that was his user obviously so he wasn't able to catch up but you know there was definitely some type of blown coverage assignment right there um, he blitzed the crib, and, you know, I, that's one thing great about Bunch Tight End. When people blitz the crib, you still can pick it up. It's right here. That's just another deep bomb, and I'm telling you guys, look at his stat line. He has seven completed passes for 250 yards, man. Um, I was getting bombed so much in this game, and that's just you trips for you guys. See right here? I see it. You see it, and I get cheated. I was starting to rage at this moment. That was just not the read. See right here? He forces some pass. That was just not a great great possession by him you know great deep pass bomb but you know the next two plays end up being very very bad see right here simmons gets on his horse but we end up getting hawked down and you know i will still take it because you know we're back in this game we have full life now new life um you know we've been playing good offense as of late him you know i can't tell you know he's playing good offense he has a lot of points but you know we i haven't really had him made him work down the field yet and you know right here he's playing great defense but um, we go back to this read right here, wide curl. Some people were saying that was a risky read. I definitely know what they're talking about. That did look a little risky. But the thing was, this user was all the way across the field at the beginning of the play. Um, wide curl is one of those hit or miss plays, man. You're going to send out five when you run wide curl. Um, and there's odds are of you getting sacked or, you know, screamed at. People play coverage and still, you know, they could bag it. So wide curl, you know, it's not the greatest play. It is really good versus cover two and coverage. But, you know, it's it's just a hit or miss play, man. I, I call it oftentimes, and oftentimes I am going to go and scramble with my quarterback just because, you know, a lot of the options I have are taken up. See right here, we send do a little send to coverage, and that's just a complete and utter bag, if you ask me. I want to say if that was accurate, that could have been a pick, but then again, I don't know, man. He has a 99-speed CD Lamb. I have a 98-speed user. Right here, just another great read by Ted another great read uh, to Deion sanders we had ted hendricks in coverage and you know he just wasn't able to get there in that cover too right here the only bad thing about patriots with u trips and trips tight end is their red zone is really bad i see right here he's called that play three times and i haven't been able to stop it once and bro you know how bad that makes me feel i mean i really just don't know what to say that play is like it's good it looks good but there's no way I should have gave it up three times. And that's just me not being able to adjust fast enough. And all these type of, you know, factors of me just simply being a little tilted and all that type of stuff. There's so many things that happen in a Madden game. It's not only like, you know, who gets cheated, this, that, and a third. It's just the mental state and everything is right here. He plays great defense. I get stuck. And this dollar contained defense is really, really annoying to play. Once more, we have an open read. But it's not really that open because he has mid zone or deep zone KO, whatever zone KO that was. And just like that, we are not in the driver's seat anymore. We had gotten a clutch stop. 
we had ended up, you know, uh, scoring. And we get a fumble, and he ends up picking it up, man. And at this point, man, if you were in the stream, you were in the stream. You knew that um, I was on tilt, man. I was raging super, super hard. But it's all good. We had to hold the three because, you know, if he ends up getting seven, this one might be cooked. He highballs an open pass, and we get a little lucky. So, thankfully, EA, you know, it, it takes from you. It gives to you, like... It's just a, it's a long battle with Madden, man. You know, you're going to get some plays going in your favor, some plays that are not. You have to keep your head clear and just keep on pushing it to the next play. See right here, we are in clock mode, guys. You see me running the ball for first off, trying to get to a hash. Second off, the run actually looked pretty good. So, you know, oftentimes in a money drive to clock, people will just run the ball, run the ball, run the ball. Because, you know, right here, three runs so far, so good. I have not been stopped. I subbed in Bo Jackson this time. And, you know, we finally end up passing and, you know, it's just everything is open. I don't have the best pocket on that play. And I really do wish I didn't get down to the 11 because this is probably the one scenario you don't want to be on. Um, I'd rather have been at the 20 per se or the one, you know, don't be on the 10 because it's very hard to chew clock. But you see right here, we end up getting tackling into the end zone. I wanted to fall down at that one yard line, but I just wasn't able to. But it's all good, man. Uh, easy money drive, probably one of the easier money drives you will ever see. But it's, you know, it's not over. He has 41 seconds, 40, uh, one timeout. You know, he has just, he's been bombing me all game long. And right here, we try to end the game. CeeDee Lamb dunks on us. And, you know, this play, we get clicked off our user. Everything is just in a panic mode right now. Um, you know, he's 12 passes completed for like 400 yards. See right here, we get crazy pressure. And, you know, this is it, man. Final play of the game. We get a clutch sack. Um, he ends up throwing it away, per, excuse me, with one second. Now this is going to be the final play of the game. We send the extra corner. Escape artist to the left. Our user's there. Our user's there. And he almost still caught it. What a great game to Luke Mid, a.k.a. Strap God. I mean, oh my God, that was an intense game. Um, you know, both of us made some high-level plays. And that's, those are the type of game plays you want to see, I feel like. Like, that was just an amazing game all around. Both opponents running, you know, Two different schemes one scheme in u-trips that you really don't see this year and you know me obviously running that vegas tour so shout out to luke mid it was a great game you know um end up taking on the dub in the next gameplay we have some more fnf potentially potential gameplays for you guys so stay tuned for that i mean once more that was a hell of a game make sure you go follow luke mid aka strap god on all his socials i'll leave a couple of his links down below in the description box Till next time, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this gameplay because I actually had a lot of fun watching this and breaking this down. And obviously, obviously this is going to help me get better and just see where I made mistakes at and, you know, see where, you know, oh, I could be better at. Overall, I just like live uh, post common gameplays to see the mistakes and all. Till next time, guys, I'm signing out. Peace.